Howdy folks, welcome back. Let's do our fair use disclaimer here. In good faith, this work contains the fair use of copyrighted and non-copyrighted images from the public domain and from the web for non-commercial, non-profit, educational purposes only. This work is distributed free of charge. Now let's get into it. So in my previous videos, I've been telling you how these stellar cores are interacting with our atmosphere. And I saw this clip the other day and was blown away because this is exactly what I've been kind of looking for. This is, you know, is what I would expect to see when one of these cores comes into the atmosphere. Now just watch this. Sorry, it's a little jumpy here. But uh, I want you to note how there's material forming in front of this object as it moves across the sky. Okay, here you can see we have material. Whoops, okay, here we go. So now you can see we have our stellar core is this round frontal part here, and we have material forming out in front of it as well as alongside of it. This is like in a cloud of its own debris, of its own material that is energy depleted. For lack of a better term, I'd like to maybe say antimatter, that when it mixes with matter in the atmosphere, forms new matter. So let's put this back into motion here. As we watch this, note, note how matter forms out in front of it, wraps around, and then disappears and goes back into this object. And like I was saying, this is exactly the behavior I would expect to see from one of these cores entering or, you know, just interacting with the atmosphere here. So I'll let you watch this a little bit more. After it passes these power lines, we get a good shot of the material forming out in front of it. Okay, one more time enhanced here. I'd like to thank Alex over at Planet X. Did a great job in enhancing this footage. Now, look out in front how this stuff appears in front of it. wish this cameraman had done a little bit better job and focused on keeping this. But look, right here is a good shot of this material forming out in front of it. And then also material in the back as it dissipates, wraps back around, and it's shrouded in a cloud of its own debris, of its own antimatter type material. Okay, one more time with this enhanced view. And you can even see a little bit of light as these as the matter and the antimatter combined together it has a little glow around it as well a lot of people would look at this and go what the heck is that but Understanding how this stuff works, when I saw this, I knew exactly what I was seeing. This is some of that debris or a smaller core with a little dust cloud of the antimatter enveloped in it that uh, is interacting with our atmosphere. Okay, now to this video here, first on this first frame. 
I want you to note how the clouds, the upper clouds are up and high, and this seems to be reaching down out of the clouds and is lower to the ground than the rest of the clouds around it. And when I put this into motion, watch the lightning activity behind it. It's just constant. Bang, bang, boom, 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 boom. And there's blue sky back behind it, too. Now, as I put this into motion, I want you to note this round structure right here. It's as if this thing is wrapped by some round object. Let's see if we can. I'm sorry, that didn't work very well. So you have to turn your head to the right here and look at how this round structure, let me see if I can pause it right on the right spot, right, right here, there appears to be a bigger core inside of this cloud that's causing this cloud, that's causing all the lightning and stuff behind it. This has reached down from clouds that are up above, you know, turn your head to the right here, it's reached down from up above and this is interacting with the ground causing lightning, causing this storm and everything. And let me just a little bit more. Right there, you can kind of make out what I'm talking about. This round curvature, there's a little bit of blockage by some clouds enveloped uh, around it. But then all around here, up into the cloud, around back in here, this black circle is what I'm talking about. And we'll finish this video real quick right there. Sorry it's sideways. The, whoever the cameraman was did it sideways. But that was another instance where I see something like that and it just, it just makes me wonder what's going on. Now you can see how this guy has zoomed in on it too. Let's go back just a tad bit. See how he notices it too and he zooms in on it? The lightning is just every second, a couple times a second. One more time. And you can kind of make out this round structure that I was talking about. Now here we are over to an image of the shadow cast on the Earth by the Moon during the solar eclipse. Here we have the shadow right below this hurricane right here, or cyclone, whatever you want to call it. And a nice round shadow, but there's something different about this. It seems to be draping down this way. There, this shadow is just odd. How it's nice and round right here, and yet there's still something draping and kind of curving and going south here. Almost as if there's another object right below the moon that's causing a secondary shadow to cast on the Earth. And when uh, we had all these weird readings during the eclipse, you know, granted, maybe it was an eclipse by, you know, by the moon, but I have a feeling there's a secondary object that's, you know, maybe orbiting around the moon or right underneath the moon that's causing this strange secondary shadow effect right here. Here's the round shadow here. Notice there's no pre-shadow over on this side. So it's not like a post-shadow. There would be a pre-shadow over here. So this to me just looks odd at how it curves. It's almost detached from the main shadow a little bit. And then it's its own little shadow draping down behind it so I just wanted to bring that to you okay and then we'll finish up here over at the Schumann over here on the left is the blast during the eclipse there was a big sharp blast a, a lull in activity that was the eclipse time and then a secondary blast right here possibly from that object that was below the, the moon then we got a nice clear path all the way to this line right here this was when the earthquake struck in Southern California, right there, that one blast, right there. Here I've zoomed in on a little bit more. Here's like a little, little energy spike starting to happen, a lull, and then this huge streak that goes right off the chart. That was during the time of the earthquake. We had a little lull in activity, and then now... Here's another huge blast that goes way off the chart, and it starts to dissipate. And then on the very fringe right here, you can see we're starting to enter another little, another little period of activity. So, 
I just wanted to bring that information to you and some of the things that I've found that I saw that kind of correlate with a lot of the information I've been showing you in my videos. So I hope you enjoyed this. I love you all, and I'll see you next video.